explore the history, relationships, expertise, and data that go into ensuring Stein growers get maximum yield potential. This is the Stein Seedcast. Here's your host, David Thompson. Hello, and welcome to the Stein Seedcast. I'm David Thompson, National Marketing and Sales Director for Stein Seed Company. Today, our very special guest on the Seedcast is someone that many of our listeners may have heard of, Jackson from Just a Jackson Thing. He's an ag influencer seen online on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. So thanks for joining us today, Jackson. Yeah. So Jackson has taken the internet by storm with his incredible knowledge of all aspects of farming, and especially equipment. At eight years old, he knows just exactly what he wants to be when he grows up and his understanding of farm equipment that would frankly put most of us to shame. In addition to Jackson's growing fan base on social media, he's been featured on news across his home state of Indiana and all across the country, even appearing on the Today Show. He's been actively involved in a lot of collaborations, having recently worked with John Deere as the trainer to the chief tractor officer. So we can't wait to learn more about Jackson and his passion for the industry. So let's get started. Well, so Jackson, um, tell us a little bit about yourself and where are you from? Um, South Whitley, Indiana, northern up. Um, have you been to Fort Wayne, Indiana? I know where Fort Wayne, Indiana is, yeah. I'm um, like about 12 miles south or... Okay. That's that's pretty country. So that's where you're from. And uh, how old are you? Eight. Soon to be nine. Yep, in a couple of days. Awesome. Yep. Well, we're we're glad to have you here visiting us at Stein Sea Company. So first of all, um, uh, how are things back home in Indiana? What do the crops look like? Um, the beans are a little uneven. I mean, not this, but yeah. Corn looks about like this, but still not, not not this. Okay. Well, so uh, we're really glad to have you out here visiting us at Stein Seed Company. So we took you out to the farm this morning. You got to look around, uh, saw a lot of different things. I guess I'm curious, um, what did you see, and what were you most interested in what you saw? Um, out of the things I saw at the farm, I liked Steve's office with all the toys. <laughs> and then all the real-life equipment. Yeah, so our farm manager, Steve Luther, has an extensive collection of toy tractors. And they're yes. very, very impressive. Yes. And uh, so, yeah, we looked at all the equipment on the farm and looked at uh, looked at some of the plots. So um, so our, our listeners to the podcast may know you from being online. You are uh, an influencer on lots of various social media, right? You have your channel, which is just a Jackson thing. Yes. How long ago did you start doing that? It was... I'm, I'm going to say late November. So le- so just in the last year? Yes. Okay. And well, how, did, how did it come about? What gave you the ideas? Um, well, it started to start. Um, my cousin Becca posted a video of me just leaning up against the fridge talking to my cousin Kyle, talking tractors, talking how to swap engine swap a John Deere 4620 with a 466 pudding in it. I don't remember all how it was and then how you plowed to help with drainage. Okay. The video got, like, in the next day, it got a million views. And my cousin Becca said, hey, this video's got a lot of views. Hey, I put this video on TikTok. I hope you don't mind. And my mama said, and it went viral. My mama said, ha, ha. Well, no, it's got a million views. And my mom was like, oh. You live um, there by Fort Wayne. You live out on a farm, right? So what's a typical day like for Jackson? Um, you know, get up, I get dressed, um, maybe watch a little TV in the morning, head out, go check the chickens maybe if I hear stuff that's going on that's not right. Um, check the sweet corn patch, see if I need to pick the sweet corn at any point. And then I go down to the shop and start working on a display. Okay. All right. Um, I know I've seen on video you have you have a nice collection of tractors of your own yep. that you work on. Mm-hmm. Uh, so any of those, the pride of the fleet for you? Probably the, the favor of the whole fleet, I would have to say. It's a tie between the 430 and the 112. Okay. It is a tie between those two. <laughs> 420 in the middle. Okay. Yep. And why do you like the 430? Um, it's got a three-cylinder, 25-horse diesel in it, three-point rear PTO, front PTO. The front PTO is for, like, a snowblower on the front. Sure. And then it's got um, 
like lug tires, like ag use tires, not surf tires. It's just a big tractor overall. Yeah. What did you learn so much about equipment? My mama, dad, my uncles, my grandpa, they all taught it to me. And then just looking at stuff, reading at stuff, I was like, huh, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> So, and looking for tractors because my dad keeps trying to talk me into farming and I'm going with it. So yeah. I'm out there. I, I look for tractors that are like 100 horse. So I, I learn a few things when I'm looking at that kind of stuff. Sure. Absolutely. So, um, like you said, you've been doing this for, for several months now and you're getting quite popular online. So um, where do you come up with ideas for the videos that you post? Um, it just kind of comes up randomly. Like, I just find something to talk about, and I was like, sometimes it's, hey, can I make a TikTok video on this? Okay. And then sometimes, she, on one video, she was up in the loft, and I'm on my, checking the tires on the 316, kicking the tires, checking them, yep. seeing if they needed air. Um, and sometimes we have stuff set, like if we need to, like, do something, or I'm going to talk about a company. Um... We will set when we want to do the video. Sure. So I'm going to be giving away five Gleaner Combines. So do you like doing videos at home on the farm, or do you like to do videos out and about? Because I've seen you at farm shows and different places. I like both. I like both. Do you? I kind of like it at my home because I, I am more comfortable with it there. I got It shows i got to find something to talk about. Well, um, it seems like this this new thing of yours is really taking off and it's giving you the opportunity to see a lot of different aspects of agriculture. Is that is that a lot of fun? It's fun. It is. It, I think it is. I think it's cool that people think that I that um, that they like my channel and that they subscribe and watch for YouTube, subscribe for t I don't even know like because I'm I don't use the I'm not on those like apps yeah. yeah i'm used to youtube like i can mark that but other apps i don't know so i don't i know there's um followers following which is the people that you follow okay but i i i just stick with the simple stuff i mean i don't want to because the sad thing is is to get to the good stuff you got to go through the bad stuff because there's just stuff that nobody should see out there sure sure so um when you do these videos, are you trying to, is you have in mind, do you want to teach people things? Are you trying to entertain people or maybe a bit of both? A bit of both. And I try to make, the, I try, I try to make some, the platforms a little better. I try to make them happier is what I try and do. So as we head into the end of summer and the beginning of fall, when, as we're recording this, um, are there things on your calendar that you're looking forward to coming up? The Progress Show, that's going to be fun. Okay. Um, there is, I think, there's some other stuff. I don't quite know all that yet. Um, there's a podcast that's going to get released at some point, so don't know when that is, but. So, so we said at the outset that you, uh, you were on this Today Show? Yes, that was very cool <laughs> and my mama would have to be on the podcast right now but i think when today's show came calling i think she probably thought it was pretty cool <laughs> i'm sure she did that's, yeah. that's a pretty big deal that's not a normal phone call every day <laughs> like hey you, this is the today show <laughs> yep yep um so obviously you have a passion for agriculture and a passion for farming. Um, I guess I'm curious, what do you what do you love about farming? I think it's just fun. I mean, it it's something that, like, when you think about it, all farmers are just gardeners, because a, a garden yeah. is a section of like dirt that you put a, a flower or a tomato or a green bean plant into. So we're doing the same out in the fields. So yep, taking care of the ground and yep. and growing crops. Yes. Yeah. So uh, your knowledge of equipment is amazing. 
Um, obviously, you've heard that from other people. So I'm curious if you think back about all the th- all the uh, equipment that you, that you know and love, do you have a favorite tractor or combine out there that you just every time you see it, you're like, that's 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 the thing. For tractors, I'd have to say between a John Deere 3020 and like a John Deere 2640 for tractors. Okay. Combine's probably a John Deere 4400 with rear wheel assist and a four row corn head. <laughs> You've got it down to the corn head even. <laughs> yep. So you like you like a lot of green stuff, right? Oh yeah. You have any other colors on the farm? I I like a little red. I like a little orange. Maybe a little bit of those galvanized gobbler cleaners. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of them. Maybe a little bit. You know, that's the way on the farm. You need whatever piece of equipment fits the application is what you need, right? So we talked about your following and how you've just gotten really, really popular. Everybody everywhere knows about uh, just, just a Jackson thing. So um, I assume you probably get recognized uh, how how does that how does that feel? It's fun. I I, I mean I like meeting new people. I mean, I, I bet you it's very cool for them to meet me. I I, I, <laughs> I, I would, bet it I is. Would, I would think. I, I would I would think so. Yep. This is this is without a doubt the funnest podcast I've ever done, Jackson. I'll tell you that right now. So you say you love farming. I assume when you grow up, are you thinking about going into farming? Oh yes. Hundred percent. Okay, so that you've already decided, and right there, right there around home, hopefully. Yep, maybe in Illinois because they got a little better ground there than uh, in Indiana. That's what they say. Maybe, maybe Iowa. <laughs> maybe. Is that what you're doing out here today? You're just checking things out. Yeah, but I was a little far from home. Just a, <laughs> just a little far, yes. eight hour drive, just a little much. Yeah, it is. From it home. is. It is. What's the thing that has surprised you about this journey you've been on? Is there anything that you're just like, this is wild, the, what, what, what's happened in the last, you know, since last November? You said it. It's pretty wild. <laughs> I think it, it is cool. So we talked about today's show. Any other big opportunities you've been really excited about that have come from your experiences? Probably number one, John Deere CTO. John Deere CTO, getting to work with the John Deere CTO. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Have you been to uh, Have you been to the factory? Um, I'm getting closer to being old enough to get in there, but you got to be like, what is it, fourteen to get in there? Oh, I, yeah, I bet you're right. I yeah. bet you're right. What's something that you haven't talked about yet that you hope to get to do? There's some people that I'd like to meet. Okay, who's that? Um, there's one Grant Hilbert, um, the squad on YouTube for his farming. He, he's been doing farming simulators since 2016, so a lot of videos of farming simulator. And then his real life channel, Grant Hilbert. I definitely check the squad out if you like farm sim and if you like real life, Grant Hilbert, probably. Okay. Do you do farm simulator? I want 22 so bad. <laughs> But I, but it, but like the Xbox or the P, the, the Xbox is three hundred dollars it alone. Oh my! And it's like, who's got who can afford that? That's right. It's like if you if you want to pay for it, it's kind of a waste to pay that much money for it. Yeah. When you're only going to use it either on a rainy day or a crappy day. Sounds like you're already, yeah you're already out there doing it on a good day. You're already out there working. Or or in the winter time. Yep. It's just like why pay that kind of money when it's not going to get used during the summertime. <laughs> I mean, not a lot, but yep. maybe every now and then. So as we wrap things up, I guess uh, so. Remind folks where you are online. Where can they go to see your adventures? So you can go to TikTok, Instagram, or to YouTube. I watch me on YouTube because that's the only platform I have. Yep. And your call, if they search for you, you're called? Just a Jackson thing. Okay. And it's J-A-C-K-S-O-N, not the X one. Okay. The uh, the other spelling of it. 
Well, Jackson, thanks so much for joining us today. It's oh, been a yeah. pleasure having you uh, sure. out here at Stein Seed Farm and joining us on the Seedcast. It's really uh, been a joy to have you today and uh, wish you much success with your with your uh, social media with Just a Jackson thing. Uh, if you're a listener to the podcast, be sure and subscribe and uh, keep track and, and watch Jackson as it adventures uh, all, all across agriculture. So thanks for everything you do for shedding light on the the ag industry. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, that's our time for today. I'd like to thank our guests and our listeners for joining us for another episode of the Stein Seedcast. We'll be back again soon with more expert interviews and insights about all things Stein. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. <laughs> Subscribe to the Stein Seedcast wherever podcasts are found. To learn more about Stein and its elite corn and soybean genetics, visit steinseed.com. Stein has yield.